Hello everyone, Dan here for the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'm doing an advanced review for Animal Pound number one. This is a new book from Boom Studios. Uh, a few, uh, I want to say maybe a couple of weeks ago, the ash can for this was released. I was able to read it. I made a little video about it, a quick short on the channel. Uh, so if you check that out, thank you very much. But here we have finally, finally, the full review for issue number one. Now let's talk about the team before we get into this book. Uh, this I, this book is written by Tom King, with art by Peter Gross, colors by Tamara Von Villain, and letters by Clayton Cowles. Now, I will tell you this, uh, before we get into any of that, a little bit behind the scenes. Uh, it was kind of tough to get uh, preview art for this. Uh, I couldn't find anything online. Uh, but I did pull some images that are, come from the trailer for this uh, for this series. Boom put out a trailer on their, on their YouTube channel. Uh, and as I was reading, I noticed that they use a lot of uh, the art from issue number one. So I'll be able to talk to the art uh, while, while, you know, talking about that. So, uh, but what's going on with this book? Let's talk about it. When animals grow tired of being caged, killed, and sold off, it's only a matter of time before they've had enough. When an uprising puts a pound in control of the animals, they quickly find themselves as comrades united against everything that walks on two legs but with this newfound power comes a sudden challenge how to best lay the groundwork for this new democracy as they write their first constitution discover an epic graphic storytelling event from celebrated new york times best-selling author eisner award-winning author writer tom king uh, and new york times best-selling eisner award nominated artist peter gross uh, king and gross collaborate for the first time ever to bring this enduring Orwellian allegory to life for the 21st century. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this is, in many ways, kind of a 21st century uh, animal farm type of book, if you've read that, if you're familiar with that work. Uh, if you're not, it doesn't matter. I think the book, Tom King very clearly lays out a plan. Uh, and I, you know what I really like, too, about this book is that there are multiple levels that you can get from this. You can just be entertained by this story about these animals that are trapped in the pound. Or you can even go beyond and look into the commentary and and and, and just kind of try to figure out what is this book trying to say about currently in society, uh, about the treatment of these animals, about how these animals have to work together and unite against... Um, the tyranny that's keeping them in the cage. Uh, there's definitely a lot for he like. There's definitely a lot for us to examine in this book, uh, and I just think that it's it's done in such a really um, accessible manner, right? Tom King and Peter Gross uh, and the whole team really make this very accessible. Whereas you're enjoying, uh, uh, of course, a piece of media. But then you're also getting a little bit more out of it. Uh, all that kind of wrapped up in this uh, metaphor of these animals in the animal pound. Uh, and then, of course, Peter Gross's art is fantastic. We'll get into it in a minute. It is so detailed. It is heartbreaking sometimes. Uh, I didn't know that the animals could be so expressive. So let's take a look at some of the preview art here. We can see some of the characters. Now, not all the dogs have names that I am aware of in the first issue. Uh, but we do have Titan, who's this Rottweiler uh, in the bottom of the page, uh, who we follow along with. Uh, we also have multiple dogs that are kind of in the same uh, kennel, in the same side. We also have, we meet a lot of cats. Uh, we meet another dog named Lucky, who we'll see as well. And he's kind of the inspiration for everything to happen here. But I just really love the the design of the animals. They look so they, they look weathered. Let me go back to the page here with all the dogs. You can see there's so much detail, like one of the dogs is missing an ear. Some of these dogs have scars. Uh, their fur is not being kept up with, right? Uh, and then just the expression that the cats kind of have. It is very, very interesting stuff. Very well done. Very well presented. Beautiful colors. You'll see it, some of the images from the trailer were a little bit it's not the true color that's shown on the book. I think some of these uh, images may be a little bit brighter, but just because of the the way the trailer is presented, of course, it's in a more cinematic fashion. So uh, they use some transitions and effects, but Tamara Von Billen, fantastic job with the coloring as well. 
Uh, and then although you can't see much of the lettering and these images, uh, it is really interesting to show how the dogs and the cats have a bit of a different speech pattern almost. Uh, I think there's a distinction there, uh, whereas the cats seem to be more outgoing and talkative, like the dogs communicate in shorter bursts. It's, it's really interesting how they kind of really thought about all these little aspects of it. So that comes a lot with the lettering. So I quite enjoy this issue. Uh, uh, so yeah, I can't wait to see what everybody else thinks about this. There's some really, really cool covers and there's some heartbreaking covers too for this book. So anything with animals, like, man, if you have read, uh, I think this is a, it's just kind of emotional. If you read We Three, uh, it's, it's very different, of, like thematically or tonally, but tonally is still kind of the same. Um, I don't know if, I, hopefully that makes sense if you have read the book. Uh, but yeah, I'll be interested to see how this follows up. I don't know exactly how long. I think this is going to be a mini series, from what I've seen. Uh, I don't know how much. I don't know how long the story could go. Uh, but especially after the events of the first issue. Uh, so yeah, I'll be interested to follow along with the story. I think this is a great book from Boom, and I'm very very excited that we are finally able to get it out there uh, because I, I've been wanting to talk about this for a little while now. So if you have read this book, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always. Thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.